All right, coming up next, a matchup to determine the baddest man on the planet. The UFC heavyweight title is on the line. Well, for a long time, he's been mentioned with the baddest men on the planet. For a long time, though, the title fight eluded him. Not anymore. Here he is, the number one heavyweight contender, finally making this walk and cracking a smile. He's waited a long time for this. He's not expecting a 25-minute war. He believes he has the power and the skills to get this thing done quickly. I guess we'll find out. champion a lot of people thought that this challenger was the one who would rest the belt away now the fight is here we'll see if we get a new champion or if this man continues one of the greatest heavyweight legacies the octagon has ever seen For this, our main event of the evening. Ngannou is three years his senior. He will have a two-inch reach advantage. We go inside the octagon. Here is Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Bergliata. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Heavyweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 10 wins, one loss. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 247 pounds. Fighting out of Paris, France, presenting the challenger, Surreal Bogomolkan. And now, introducing the champion, Fighting out of the red corner. This man is a boxer, holding a professional record of 17 wins, three losses. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 250 pounds. Fighting out of Paris, France. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Francis. The Predator and God. All right, this is for the UFC Championship. I want you to bring up your hands at all times, protect yourself at all times. You want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, match your corners, come out fight. They touch gloves, and we are underway. So we got two classically trained strikers here. Any chance this fight actually goes to the ground? This fight does not go to the ground. This one will spot in the pocket. Two guys will stand in front of each other. They will trade punches. They will trade kicks. It's going to be a classic matchup that you normally see 
inside of a ring. We get it in the octagon tonight. Beautiful strike. And he landed the right hand there. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the jump. Oh, that is a huge left hook from Francis Ngannou. Somehow, some way, his opponent still stands. I mean, I, I, this guy's chin is made of granite in order to take a punch like that from Francis Ngannou. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Nice leg kick land. Oh, some of the best kicks you'll see right there, live and in color. Again, he's looking for that left. It's not there. Nice. There. He landed it perfectly. Perfect placement. Perfect position. What a huge blow and a big moment in this fight. Oh, and the ankle pick to get him down. We'll see if he can capitalize. Got the ankle pick. Let's see how he advances from this position. Just misses there with the left. Big kick land. So just over 20 total strikes have landed for Francis Ngannou. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Oh, he's got it going now. Nice connection there, DC. Another punch land. Boom! Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. If your opponent has you in the clinch, pulling down on your head, landing punch after punch, you have got to clear that collar tie, reach back inside, and try to find space. Oh, how about the right hand from Francis Ngannou? It's hard to watch. Oh, he needs to start looking at the finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, he might be out. This strike attempt there is blocked. A little struggle here now for position in the clinch, and we see a lot of these situations in mixed martial arts where both fighters sort of end up getting comfortable here when there isn't a whole lot going on. And the moment somebody gets comfortable, the moment that somebody decides to relax, the moment you'll see a takedown or somebody really speed out ahead of their opponent, you got to be aware when you're chest to chest in this 50-50 position. All right, so there's the horn. He got knocked down by a punch in that round, but he is able to survive. We'll see if they can make some adjustments. He's as tough as they come. He took that shot and he kept plodding forward. He got off of his butt. He got himself off of the canvas and tried to get right back to work. But he cannot take many more of these. You don't want to be the guy that's testing how tough that your chin is. I mean, he's cutting down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. And he connects there with a punch, so pretty good striking display by him thus far. He throws everything so straight and so accurate. Well, he's doing a nice job here blocking these shots. The chin is tucked, the hands are high. Pretty good job defensively thus far. Great job defensively. He's seeing everything coming. Oh! Big shots exchanged in the pocket there. Oh, just a killer jab there from Francis Ngannou. I don't know about you fighting this guy, man. Aren't you coaching high school wrestling yeah, instead? I'm coaching Gilroy Mustang, man. He's saying, Gano, I say, I got a tournament this weekend. I'll see you guys on the flip side. Good jab. Nice kick. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. He's very tricky when he throws that body kick. Ngannou's uppercut is blocked. Looked like for a minute he had a window there. It closed quickly. And they separate. Oh! He was hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. He gets right back up. I mean, what an ankle pick. If he would have thrown into his opponent, maybe he would have secured the top position. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Oh, nice check on the leg kick offering there. 
Why he'll engage in a single collar tie. Oh, right there, the seminal blow of the fight. I mean, it was perfect. It was absolutely perfect, John. Great placement on that uppercut. Oh, he might be out. Strike there is blocked. Nice job by the defense. Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. A little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He has certainly picked up the pace here, and as a result, he has taken control of this second round. Ooh, what a punch. The Predator gets absolutely pelted by that head kick. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Just misses with the straight right. Got clip with the right hand. Oh, left hook to the head. It's blocked. I might let you kick the inside of my leg after the show. No. See how that feels. You don't want that, J.A. You do not want that. No one wants that. Even trained professional fighters right. can't take too many of those strikes. Well, he had a lot more than a puncher's chance coming in. Big knockdown for him in the previous round. D.C., talk us through the highlight. He got in his opponent's face, landed that big punch that put his opponent flat on his back, he could get the finish, but if he lands one more time just like that, he will get the victory. Alright, All right, here we go with this third round of this championship fight. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes, and a good sign too. Straight punches we've seen all night. Huge straight punch lands, and he's got it hurt very bad. Man, he is so sound defensively. Nice job to raise the guard there. It's the relaxation that allows him to see things coming and block most of the strikes that are coming at him. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Slips and Ganu. Oh! What a fail! Back to the feet! Oh, blocks the shot. Big punch from the clinch. Another knockdown! Wow! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. Take that finish down now. So look at him jumping in to try to get the finish. He got him. Scott the full mount. Oh, now trying to isolate an arm, DC. He needs to move his hips back to cover. He cannot allow him on that angle. And attack an arm bar. Continuing to try to manipulate the head here. This might just be a matter of time. He got it. He got it, John. How about it? Gets the win by submission. Beautifully executed there on the ground. A phenomenal grappler. I don't understand how people don't know that this guy wants to submit you. He is the best grappler, best submission specialist we've seen in a long time. So there he is, the baddest man on the planet, UFC heavyweight champion of the world, a title that every heavyweight wants. He has it after the win by submission here tonight. He leaned on the grappling, and he got the job done in a big way.
Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliana has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 14 seconds of round number three. We're playing the winner by tap out and still the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Francis the Predator Engano. Well, DC, you know what it's like to be the UFC heavyweight champion. It's not the easiest belt to defend. Kind of made it look easy to me. I mean, that's why the belt changes and changes so fast. Things change so quick at heavyweight.